What's going on viewers? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my room. Today I'm going to be doing another Q&A video. A video where you guys ask me questions on Instagram and I answer them. So let's get this video started. What would you do if you was eating the booty and she farted? I would swallow that dirt bubble and get back to it. Would you fuck me? And I love you. I'm sorry I'm awkward. Oh. She probably. Do you count how many girls you've smashed? Yes, I do. I'd have to say I lost count after 200. Would you rather drown a baby and nobody knew about it, or drown a bag of puppies and everybody knew about it? I've spent so much time thinking about this question, and I don't know. I'd I, 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 I go with the baby. Nobody knows. and Nobody knows my dark secret. If you could be a girl for one day, what would you do? First of all, I'd masturbate a lot. Second of all, I'd go rob a bank. Yeah, I'll probably get arrested, but the next day, I'm gonna be a dude, and they're gonna be like, where is our suspect at? What's 9 plus 10? Can you carry the 1. I, I, yeah, it's, it's gotta be... 21? You stupid! What was the most embarrassing thing you've ever said to a girl? The most embarrassing thing I've ever said to a girl would have to be... I love you. Cause I hate sleeping alone. I hate sleep have you ever gotten noticed in public? Yes, I've gotten noticed plenty of times. But nobody has asked me to take a photo with them yet. Opinion on the idea of men and women being equal? Or do you think that women are treated better? There's definitely pros and cons to being a girl. Like, you, you get 70% of the money that guys will get, and you probably can't even get the job. But you're a girl, so you could basically just set up shop in someone else's life. What's the most embarrassing thing you have done at a party? Fell asleep. Have you ever been so nervous about kissing a girl you made out with a stuffed animal to practice? No, but I have done something similar. I was nervous about about eating out a girl. So the way that I practiced, I went like this, right there, that's it, and got to it. You, you, could, you could barely tell the difference. Barely. Will you put this question in the Q&A? Probably not. Would you ever consider doing steroids to get buff even though it would make your ding dong small? You are very attractive by the way, so I hope you answer no. You are perfect the way you are. Oh, how sweet. Thank you, and yes, I would do steroids. Cause they don't make your ding dong small, they just make your ball small. And that actually sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Cause I want to be known as the buff guy. Not the guy with the enormous ball sack. Would you rather be the sexiest motherfucker alive, or be Hugh Hefner with all those playboys? I would definitely be Hugh Hefner. For three reasons. He's rich, he's famous, and he's got the playboys. If you're just a sexy motherfucker, who knows if you're gonna be rich, who knows if you're gonna be famous, you can be the fucking, just some buff guy. Walking around at girls love. What's the most embarrassing thing your parents have seen you do or say? P.S. I love you. Oh, I love you too. And my parents have seen me as an emo, which is not cool. Nose for toes or toes for nose? Love your vids, by the way. I would rather have a nose for toes. Because if you have toes for a nose, that just looks weird. But if you got a nose for toes, nobody can even see that. Have you ever been humiliated while passed out drunk? Yes, a lot of times. It's just like a Picasso of dicks on my face written in Sharpie. When was the last time something funny happened. Well, if you're watching my video, it was probably 20 seconds ago. It wasn't. Have you had any type of surgery or serious cut along your life? I do have a serious cut right now. Let me tell you the story. My cat was on top of the steps. My cat began to fall off the steps. I reached out and grasped for my cat to have a safe landing. When it landed, it cut deep into my arm. And now I'm left with a hideous scar. Here it is. I'm sure you can see it. It's, it's quite the looker. I mean, that is true pain right there. That scar, I feel like a super villain just because I have this scar. Like, I have magical powers now. R. Slick Martin. Okay, and those are all of the questions I'm going to do for this Q&A. Shoutouts to Aaron Marshall. And the YouTuber of the week goes to Josh Lee. Go check out his channel. He's got a few new videos up and they're recorded on a phone. That's always fun, bending the rules, I like it. And that's about it for this video, guys. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, watch out for shadow people, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you all for watching, I'm Millimani, peace.